What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. So in this video, uh, I'm gonna make a protein pancake. You're gonna need a container like this and we're gonna need some um, egg whites, right? We also need some protein. I just use whey protein. Okay, you could use uh, any type of protein you want really. And you're gonna need, this is a, gonna be an important ingredient, gore gum. Or, cause gore gum, what it does is that it, ma it makes it all sticky, right? Stuck, stick together. So when you, when you put it in the, on the pan, it's gonna hold. Whereas if you don't use this, well, you know, it doesn't hold properly and it's a pain in the butt. It's still doable, but gore gum. I'm gonna put the ingredients down below. Also need some um, artificial sweetener. I use Splenda. So you're gonna take uh, four of these of these babies. We're gonna mix all of this in. I'll show you guys step by step. And then from there, we're gonna throw it in the pan here on the oven, uh, cooktop, and then we're gonna cook it. First thing we do is that we have to weigh out, measure out 500 grams. So I have a scale here too, okay? And this is a one, this is one cup, and one cup is equal to uh, 240 mLs. So technically two of these, okay, is going to be 500 mLs. 500 mLs, 500 grams, it's about the same thing. Put this here. See, it's not even accurate. It's 200 when it's full. Put this in here. Put another one. All right, there you go. Now I gotta put some protein in there. So protein is 50 grams. This here is about 35 grams, okay? I'm gonna put one and a half. For the most part, I just eyeball it. It's not, it doesn't have to be 100% precise. Like, oh, that's a lot of protein, man. So you got whey protein, plus you got egg whites. Oh my God. The important thing here is gore gum. It's gonna make it stick. Did you see that? Okay, good. And this here, you need like um, half a tablespoon. Something like this. Boom. Now we're gonna put the, uh, the sugar, artificial sugar. So now we're gonna mix this. We're gonna mix it until it becomes nice and solid. That's why you have the gore gum because without the gore gum, it's not gonna like uh, hold together. This is what it looks like in the container. I'm going to just mix it. If you have a beater, it's better, but you can do it by hand too. You just mix, stir until it's nice and thick. Once we cook this, we're gonna put it like uh, in the frying pan here. And the way you do it is that you put as the least amount of oil possible. Ideally, you want to get some spray, like some spam spray. But since I don't have spam spray, by the way, you could just use regular oil, but just don't put too much because you gotta remember, uh, any oil you put, man, that's, uh, that's extra calories for nothing, right? You want to eat something that's gonna keep you full, but doesn't have a lot of calories. And of course you want it to taste good too. It's not getting thick enough, so. A little bit of uh, gore gum, a little bit more, like one little, like this more. All right, okay. So from here, I'm gonna use coconut oil. You want one spoon like this, right? And then put this here, just so it's nice and evened out like that. So I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna put this at number four. I'm gonna bring my concoction here. Obviously, you can make a bigger batch, so you don't have to do this every single day. So then if you have it in like a big bowl like this, then you just every morning or every time you want to eat this while well, you pour it in, you cook it, boom, done. But when you pour it on here, you don't want it too hot. I have this at number four right here because if you have it too hot, it's just gonna, it's gonna burn the damn thing, you know? You have to let it uh, kind of sit, simmer a bit. Remember guys, I'm not a professional chef or anything like that. I'm just showing you guys how I do things, right? And of course, if you guys have more experience and a better way of doing it, but, I'll, I'll get better with time. And the important thing is really to see the principles and ideas of how I go about it so that you guys can achieve the same results in terms of uh, leanness, body fat percentage, right? I mean, eating is a big part of it. You can't outwork a bad diet. But guys, if you have a blender, right? Not a, uh, you know, a handheld one. You like the, the sound effects? Okay, here we go.
while we're waiting, I'm going to prepare because I'm going to put some topping on this. You could put your toppings of choice, but I'm going to put some Greek yogurt on top of that. And I'm going to put some, uh, uh, some frozen uh, berries, right? Mixed berries. These are frozen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat them up a little bit, nice and warm. Ta-da! Put it in the microwave. One minute. Berries are right here. I'm gonna put them over there. Bring her over my plates. All right. Reduce the heat a bit. Need some help here. So I'm gonna use myself a second spatula. Presentation wise, it's not gonna look amazing, but it's, it's not that bad, you see? There's so much protein in this, you'll be full. <laughs> Anabolic pancake. When, when, when you hear anabolic, it just means that there's a ton of protein in it and low in calories, more or less. Take a look at this, All right? Now, remember the, um, what you call it, the berries? Put the berries on top. I actually heated up the berries a little bit too much. I put a minute, but they were already kind of defrost. Don't worry about it. Whey protein, you got and the protein that I used was the uh, hazelnut uh, chocolate protein, right? Whey protein. And on top of that, you have the egg whites, which is protein again. And then you have your berries here, you know, which is essentially your carbs. Done. And then now I got some Greek yogurt that I slap on on top here. There you go. Protein pancake, right? Basic. You can do this with bread too. I'll show you guys in another video how to make it with bread, man. That's pretty cool too. You put it in a blender. Yeah, it's cool. So you put everything in a blender, you blend it, and then you just pour it out. Uh, this is another way to do it too. So there's no wrong or right way as long as you get to where you're going. And um, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.